Hello, my name is Andrew Gould and I'm Head of Art at St Ivo School. I oversee the teaching and learning of art drawing and painting, art textiles and art three-dimensional design. If you have any further questions about the short presentation that you're going to see, you're very welcome to contact me via my school email address. Welcome to the GCSE three-dimensional design course. GCSE three-dimensional design course comprises of two components, a coursework component, personal portfolio, and the exam component, externally set assignment, ESA. Component one is worth 60% of the GCSE grade, and the externally set assignment is 40%. At the end of the ESA, there is a period of sustained focus exam, which is an opportunity for students to produce a piece of artwork supervised in exam conditions, there is no written exam in art. For both components, students must produce boards of supporting studies and a portfolio of outcomes, which are two-dimensional and three-dimensional using their preferred media. In a moment, you will see a typical example of what students might do to fulfill the requirements for each component. For component one, students create a personal portfolio of work in response to a theme. Their work must comprise of boards of supporting studies and a portfolio of personal outcomes, and the work must show evidence of all four assessment objectives. All work for this component is internally marked and externally moderated by an external moderator. In a moment, you will see examples of both components illustrating what students do throughout the course. Assessment of criteria. There are four assessment objectives in art and they are equally weighted in both components. For example, AO1, developing ideas, is about researching artist designers to inspire your own ideas. AO2, refining and experimenting, is about using a range of drawing and mixed media techniques. AO3, recording, is about drawing and annotation. AO4, presenting a personal response is about producing a final outcome at the end of a project which will be three-dimensional. The examples that follow will visually demonstrate what each assessment objective means. In the three-dimensional design course, students work on paper to produce drawings, colour studies and media experiments, many of which will be three-dimensional, so photography is used to record the work. Work is edited, then presented on a2 boards which are kept in a portfolio folder. These boards show a range of drawing skills from primary and secondary sources, assessment objective three, and media experiments, assessment objective two. This board shows a development of design ideas using a variety of media, assessment objective two. This board explores artist work, assessment objective one, and clay experiments, assessment objective two. The final outcome, a trio of ceramic pinch pots decorated with coloured underglazes and a clear glaze and fired to earthenware temperatures, assessment objective four. Here are two boards with a range of supporting studies which satisfy the first three assessment objectives. Underneath is the final piece, inspired by the Italian architecture seen on a school trip to Florence. It is a triptych made from clay using the slab construction method. It's decorated with coloured underglazes, a clear glaze and fire to earthenware temperature. Mythological beasts and artefacts have inspired these drawings and sculptural maquettes. This board shows the development of ideas and experimental maquettes. This board explores a variety of media experiments and looks at artists' work to inspire. The clay mask is one of the media experiments. Observational drawing and looking at artists' work have inspired these abstract stone sculptures. For component two, the students produce a personal response to an externally set thematic starting point, set in the ESA exam paper released in January. In 2020, the ESA assignment theme was events. Students' work must comprise of preparatory studies and a personal outcome. The personal outcome is produced during a sustained focus period with reference to preparatory studies. The sustained focus period is 10 hours, two-day exam, and usually takes place at the end of the spring term. Students' work must show evidence of all four assessment objectives. All work for this component is internally marked and externally moderated by an external moderator. Starting point for the exam preparatory work. 
This shows high quality drawing skills using pencil and colour pencil, assessment objective three, included our secondary sources to provide inspiration. Artist research with pencil and colour pencil studies made including relevant annotation, assessment objective one. This helps generate ideas and media experiments for developing an outcome, assessment objective two. Photography has been used to record primary sources, assessment objective three. Drawings and maquettes have been made from these photographs. This helps with the development of ideas, assessment objective two. Developing sculpture ideas and final composition, assessment objective two. The final outcome created in a 10 hour sustained focus period. The clay sculpture was completed in the exam, but fired and glazed afterwards, assessment objective four.